Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to use aim labs with Valorant. So basically you can get perfect aim in Valorant and never whiff again. Let's get straight into the video. Right, so, so if you don't already have aim labs downloaded, go ahead and do that. It's free on the Steam store. Uh, as well as you'll have to have your Valorant senses written down for your basically your main sense and your scoped sense. That's basically what you have to have written down. Your DPI is not important as long as you use the same DPI in aim labs and Valorant. All right, so you might, I'm just gonna open both my Valorant and aim labs just cause I do not have my senses currently set. But if, if your PC can't handle that, just write down the value somewhere else after opening Valorant and open aim labs after. All right, so first we'll open up Valorant and I'll go ahead and copy my senses from Valorant. So I'll just show you where the senses will be. So here, this is what you'd want to copy your sensitivity aim and your scope sensitivity multiplier. And that's all you need. I already have mine set on my aim labs, so I'm going to skip copying those, but I'll show you where you would paste them in aim labs. So once you open up aim labs and you have your Valorant senses ready to put in here, you go down to settings and then you'll go over to controls. And here you can see, you can select a ton of different games. You're going to want to find Valorant. Valorant, it's quite far down, but you'll get there. And then it'll already have like the conversions done. And all you have to do is put in 0 0.4 or whatever your sense was. As well as make sure to set your FOV to 103 because that's what Valorant FOV is. And if it's different, it can mess with like the feel of the game and make the sensitivity feel off. And then you can edit your aim down sight sensitivity down here. I don't really train my ADS sensitivity, so I'm not sure what Valorant's FOV is for aim down sights, but I just left it as this. I don't really scope in and aim labs at all anyways. So you can go ahead and save those. And basically now you're ready to start training with aim labs. The only thing that you have left to do is just adjust control settings to your liking and stuff and then find a good training pack to do. So uh, I'll just explain some stuff. So basically it has six categories of things you can train and once you get a rank in all of them, it will add make your overall rank. So it's uh, kind of confusing if you don't really understand the way aim labs works, but then you can come to training and here where you can scroll down to here and see if you want to train a specific skill, you can select it here. So if I select flicking, it has all the flicking packs here that you can play. You can also like favorite things and create your own playlist. So I have some playlists here already that Valorant has, but you can create your own playlist, go to custom. It has a lot of fears. You can create your own weapons and stuff, but Oh, actually, one more thing before I get into that. I'll, I recommend changing this, this setting here. So in your settings, I'd recommend turning off all of these except uh, play. Actually, player damage does not really need to be on either. I don't know why I have it on, but basically everything but pro processing off is what I would recommend because so when you first play a thing, you'll see like it has like a gun flash and like gun impacts and like the shells are flying out of the gun and it's really distracting. I'll show a picture on screen of what I mean. And that could get really annoying to be using while playing. Anyways though, thanks for watching the video. Peace.